live on other planets? What would you eat if you lived on Mars? Is there water on the moon? How long does it take to get there? What would you do for fun? For decades now, those in science and in science fiction have explored the possibilities of long-term human habitation away from Earth. They've written about permanent bases on the moon, polar ice stations on Mars, and giant wheels spinning in space that are homes to hundreds of people. While those bases on the moon or Mars are obviously planet-based fixed structures, there's also a very different type of space colony that's being discussed. It's a free-floating colony that orbits the Earth and has its own specific traits and purposes. These things sound fantastic, but it might be closer to reality than most people think. Dozens of scientists at the world's space agencies have been working for years to understand what is needed to build those distant bases and to make them comfortable for the space pioneers who would live and work there. In this video, we'll learn what steps have been taken so far and where we go from here. We'll also discover the many benefits to be had by this giant leap to other worlds. So come along and explore space colonies. Who will be the first people to live in space? Because of its close proximity to us, the first space colony is most likely to be a permanent base on the moon. The lucky people who will become the first to live there will be pioneers in every sense of the word. To make a true colony work, we'll need people from every walk of life. They'll be doing something that, up till then, has been found only in storybooks. They'll be creating a whole new world away from the only one humans have ever known. It will be an adventure that will captivate everyone on Earth. But what will it take to build that world? And what will it look like when it's finished? Many scientists think that eventually, it'll look a little like Earth. The challenge is enormous, and it begins with getting there. Compared to traveling deep into space, getting personnel and supplies to the moon seems relatively easy. American astronauts have already landed there six different times. We can make the trip in no more than three days using current technology. But the lengthier journeys will take either a much greater amount of time or new propulsion systems. In fact, some scientists think that practicality requires that we find technology to drastically shorten the travel time to points deeper in space. Among the ideas that are being explored...